17th of February and just a few uh, more words to reflect on the um, a pyramid or a centre leader dominant way of growing fruit trees. Um, I get asked this question from time to time and it's a totally reasonable question. Um, why do you grow your trees in an open centre or vase or goblet style? Um, well, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time when I started growing um, uh, apples about 20 years ago. Uh, of all the many, many books which I had read, the um, open centre style seemed a very reasonable way of managing fruit trees. And uh, you know, a lot of professional growers had been growing their um, apples and pears in this way for a century. So that well, I can't go probably very far wrong, um, but yes, the modern science does show. Uh, don't ask me for details on this. You can find them out there by googling. Uh, but the modern science does show that to get the absolute maximum production out of an acre of land with fruit trees, you want a very restricted pyramid-based system. Not entirely unlike what I'm trying to do here. Now I'm not an expert on this. Uh, don't ask me loads of complicated questions. Um, but this is roughly, uh, well this is my first start, I've got a few pyramids around here and uh, pyramids really need to be supported, this is a, a, a chestnut stake, a uh, chestnut uh, grows uh, quite well in the south of England and it's coppiced, uh, these uh, stakes are cut about every eight years or so and they last a long time in the ground. Uh, there are alternative stakes. These are tied in, as I showed earlier, with some uh, strips cut from an old uh, sort of denim jean. So we're still, still strong, but too filthy to wear. And um, centre leader dominant, you don't cut the central leader out. Well, you might, but that's, I don't want to get too much into that. Essentially, the central leader remains dominant, as opposed to cutting the tree off, say, at about four feet or lower, and allowing loads of branches to come out. So you've got branches coming out. Um, you're about 18 inches high there. Uh, you've got branches coming out uh, more or less evenly up and down. Same principles apply. Uh, going up to the end, this is the, uh, today being uh, uh, March 2010, this is the 2009 wood. And it goes back to this point here where it grows away from the, uh, the wood that grew in 2008. Uh, and that was the year we planted them. This is just about 24 months now, about 25 months since these were planted. And there's some fruit bud coming on the, uh, uh, some fruit bud there on a short, uh, short little um, twig coming out of the main branch. Uh, there's a few more fruit buds. Some of these have got rather more fruit buds on. I'll just show you another one here, which hasn't been staked. This is a different variety. It's not so tall. I'm still going to stake this, but uh, we'll, um, wait, I haven't got enough stakes. I'll get some shorter ones. We've got an order. But this is interesting. It's got fruit buds right up to the tip. And this one, oh wow, it looks like it might be beginning to move. Hey, spring isn't so far off. Spring is nearly here. Uh, so, uh, and here's another uh, tree again. Centre leader dominant, that by the way is about eight feet high, it's only about two feet above my head and I haven't hardly pruned this at all. Uh, in future years I might need to prune it a bit more. Uh, but the idea is that these um, long leaders, which are more or less uh, unpruned, these will develop fruit buds, so they're in an upright position now, but the weight of fruit will tend to pull them down. In highly managed uh, pyramid style systems, these are weighted or tied down. The idea being uh, the more upright the growth is, the more vigorously it will produce new wood. Remember the wood, new growth and fruit bud uh, trilogy, balancing. Um, but you can, if you tie a branch down, then it's quite possible you'll get more fruit buds. Uh, I've read that in many books. Uh, when I tried it once, I can't remember if it worked on that, it was a long time ago. Um, anyhow, uh, so these are my um, pyramids. Uh, a lot of people have expressed interest. It's a bit of a journey for me because I've not grown pears or indeed apples as pyramids before, but all the books agree that pyramids are a better way of growing pears. Don't ask me to say exactly why. Uh, remember, I'm just this enthusiastic amateur sharing my experiences. I'm not a professor of fruit growing. And um, anyway, so hopefully those who are interested in this sort of thing will follow me on the journey through 2010 when I'm hoping to get first uh, pears from these 30-odd uh, trees that were planted um, two years ago.